Santiago Island is located in the center of the archipelago. Charles Darwin's visit to this island planted the seed in his head that led to the writing of the most important evolution book on the origin of species. Puerto Egas is located northwest of Santiago Island, a fascinating place to visit because it had a great volcanic activity in the past. There's a long lava shoreline where eroded rock formations house an excellent variety of wildlife. Marine iguanas bask in the sun, while the tide pools contain many Sally Lightfoot crabs. The color varies from dark red to bright orange to almost brown. They also have a bottom that can be pale yellow, white or blue, or even a combination of all three. They seem to look at you with a classic I'm better than you cockiness. The grey legs of the lava heron change to an intense orange color during the breeding season. American oyster catcher. This large and heavy beak is used by the oyster catchers to pry open mollusk shells. They are so named because oysters are a crucial food source in the diet. A yellow warbler taking a bath. Apparently, no one is afraid that the lava bridge will collapse. The sea lion's smaller cousin, the Galapagos fur seal, was lounging on the rock or swimming. This is a young boy. Snorkeling allowed us to get very close to the brown pelican. Rabida is located 5 kilometers south of Santiago Island. Its main attraction is the salt lagoon with flamingos, pelicans and boobies. Pretending to be dead. Really? Oh. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Okay. Good job. Okay. <laughs> okay, roll over. <laughs> Smile. You're on candid camera. The Galapagos dove has striking blue eyes and red feet. They're often not shy around humans. That was it for our cruise through the Galapagos Islands. As an extra we will post a special about the marine iguanas. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next video. Dream, explore and, and travel, travel with us! us.